I would suggest to you, uh, before you go to the divorce court uh, and get rid of your husband uh, because uh, another lady was blinking at him, uh, well, your eyes haven't blinked in 20 years. Uh, and so, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you might have learned how to lead a praise service, uh, but you don't know how to lead a bedroom service yet. Uh, glory to heaven. Uh, and so you're going to have to understand the apostolic church must bring this right where it belongs. It's not enough for us to look saved and look holy and tell you what we can't do. Uh, as if our salvation uh, is based on what we can't do. Uh, it's time to teach these young ladies uh, how to keep their husbands happy and satisfied. Uh, it's not enough to keep giving them scriptures. Uh, you need to go up there to Victoria uh, and get her secret. Uh, hallelujah to God. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, uh, glory to heaven. Uh, Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. I'm leaving on a 650 plane tomorrow. Ah, uh, you got to hear what I'm saying uh, in the morning. Uh, so here's all I'm trying to get you to see. All the Holy Ghost is trapped. It's trapped, ladies and gentlemen. We are not successfully making the transition to the kids. We're not making the transition to our posterity. We're not making the transition well to our preachers. And so it's being trapped. Ah, somebody said, well, Bishop Wagner, that's why I'm not in the church. They drove me away. That's not why you're in the church. I'm not in the church. You're not in the church because you made a choice to walk away. Ah, it's not your mama and daddy's fault. They might not have done everything right, but God has never done anything wrong. And you had enough God to walk with God. I am not going to blame your parents for you not walking with God. You have to understand. Somebody said, Bishop Wagner, but you don't know how rough it was growing up. What are you talking about? I told you I'm third generation. You give me a story and I can top it. We weren't allowed to do this, allowed to do that. We weren't allowed to go here. We weren't allowed to say this. We didn't do anything. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, our afternoon pleasure was they allowed us on Sunday between services, we could go bus riding. You go get a transfer and get on the bus, just ride it to the end of the line, ride it back and that was it. If you were dating a young lady, you had to have somebody with you. Ah, uh, you don't tell me. Uh, you don't tell me. I grew up with this. And guess what? I told, uh, I, I, I told one of the preachers the other day, let's stop complaining about what our forefathers didn't let us do. I told him it made us a bishop, didn't it? So they must have known something. Uh, how are you transitioning? Uh, these fathers know something. Uh, and when we tell you, uh, we're trying to explain to you in the transition. Uh, uh, we'll say, baby, uh, that's not the right guy for you to be dating. Uh, you can't tell me. That's why I don't like this apostolic church. It's too judgmental. Uh, baby, no, no, no. Uh, that's not it. I'm going to let the Lord tell me. You're not listening to the Lord. Uh, the day that you went to McDonald's uh, and drove up uh, and he said to you, oh, I must have left my wallet. Uh, can you pay for my lunch? Uh, that day, that was the Holy Ghost telling you, get out the car. Uh, glory to heaven. Uh, that was the Holy Ghost telling you then. Uh, but since you're not listening to the Holy Ghost, uh, we have to help you. Uh, you brothers, uh, you know that you're looking for something uh, that will always look nice and be nice, uh, but you do have to understand uh, that all pint-sized Coca-Cola bottles uh, grow up to quartz after a while. Uh, you've got to understand that. Uh, you've got to get the content. Uh, and you're going to have to understand uh, you should have known you were in trouble uh, when you were 15 and, or when you were 18 and you drove up uh, uh, to McDonald's and 
you said, I have a fish sandwich. And she said, I have a Big Mac and supersize it. You should have known you were in trouble. I, here, ladies and gentlemen, I, the Holy Ghost will speak to you. You don't need a sound from heaven. The Holy Ghost is telling you. And here, ladies and gentlemen, I, I'm trying to get you to see that the apostolic church has to be careful in trapping the Shekinah too because the Shekinah too has been trapped in transition. The Shekinah too has been trapped in us. Here you are with the greatest power that has ever existed and afraid to use your anointing to lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Is there anybody here that begins to believe in God? Well, you can hit that box now. Hallelujah to God. In understanding, ladies and gentlemen, that God is sharing with you that you have to successfully make the transition, the transition of the Shekinah. You are looking and trying to find uh, where is the Shekinah. I'm afraid uh, that some folk took it to the grave with them uh, without telling us how to walk right before the Lord. Uh, somebody uh, told us how to preach uh, but didn't tell us how you have stayed married so long uh, and uh, how you had to work with hardship. Uh, somebody told us uh, how to dance, uh, but didn't show us how to walk holy uh, and circumspectly uh, before the Lord. Uh, but Jesus uh, is saying unto you today uh, that this is the day uh, of the apostolic church. Uh, Jesus, uh, he said, greater is a he that is in you uh, than a he uh, that is in the world. Uh, it's that Shekinah. Uh, it's where Jesus uh, said during the day, uh, I was the light of the world. Uh, but now that I leave, uh, you uh, are the light of the world. Uh, and let your light so shine before men uh, that they may see your good works uh, but give glory uh, to the God in heaven uh, this is it ladies and gentlemen uh, this is the time of your anointing uh, this is the greatest hour uh, of the apostolic church uh, this is the time uh, for the church uh, to deliver men and women uh, how dare you uh, have all this Holy Ghost uh, and all we see uh, is a hand wave. Uh, where is your anointing? Uh, you ought to have enough power uh, to lay hands on the sick uh, and they recover. Uh.